right, welcome everyone. I am Beer Run Bob, and we are back with some more of our fishing game we've been playing, Call of the Wild, the Angler. So before we get moving any further, let's get over here to that mic check. Make sure the mic is working on your end. There, there, refresh. I am Beer Run Bob. Yeah, right. We got noise over there. Shut that down. OBS and sounds look good over there. All right, so let's get back into this. Don't remember where we left off at. Looks like uh, got to catch a bronze rank. Oh yeah, that sunfish. Couldn't catch that damn sunfish. Hmm. So let's try to get kitted back up for the sunfish. What what was I throwing before? A red worm? Or what do we need to even? Okay, hold on. Inventory, the handbook, the sunfish. That's uh, a bluegill. Where'd the sunfish go? Right here? Yeah. Blood war. Hey, what we got over here? Power Hedge! How you doing, buddy? Thanks for stopping by. I do appreciate it. Hopefully, you're having yourself a good weekend. I'm hoping my weekend goes as well. So, I got the blood worm out, so let's go ahead and throw that blood worm around again and see, if, see what we're catching, if anything. We were catching a bunch of stuff right up in here. I remember that. I think we were catching yellow perch off of this blood worm, if I remember right. Mr. Mark Moody, thanks for swinging by this evening. I appreciate it. Hopefully you're having yourself a nice little Saturday. As we're back trying to catch our fishies here. No bites over here now. Last episode, we were getting bites left and right in here. Wrong fish, but we were getting bites at least. Hi, Bob. How are you? I'm doing good. Crocus, how you doing? My friend from Brazil, if I remember right. Okay, got nothing nibbling today. Back trying to get this damn sunfish that we ended the last stream stuck on. Not a one little nibble on that freaking blood worm. Really? Uh, let's go maybe a little deeper. I 
I'm fine. You're right. I'm from Brazil. <laughs> I did remember. I'll be damned. And it's too hot even now during night. <laughs> well, we haven't we haven't got the heat hitting us yet. It's still kind of early for us for the heat. It gets you some AC. You guys got AC down there in uh, Brazil? Or is that considered a luxury? Oh, hello. That was probably the fish I needed right there. Jumped right in front of me. Sorry, can you say it again? So, uh, you're talking about the heat down there in Brazil. Do you all have AC, also known as air conditioning? Or is, is that kind of a luxury item for down there? Because I, I know some places, they just don't even have AC. But, but if you're in a hot climate, I would think it would be something pretty available. like Britain they you know very few homes have AC in Britain because they don't really get it all that hot over there all right I'm already give up on this damn blood worm oh sure we have okay all right well hot outside at night just tuck yourself inside with a little AC you're using it right now okay all right so see, that makes it more bearable. Oh, come on. I'm starting to wonder if this blood worm's gonna catch anything here. So if I remember right, we have tried every bait for this sunfish. The only other thing I could do is possibly go to a, a bottom feeding and see if I can get something to bite from the bottom, maybe? I didn't know green, uh, green fish or sunfish, green sunfish, or sunfish. I didn't know those were bottom feeders, though. That's the only other thing I can think of, is maybe do a bottom feeding setup. You know what? Let's, let's get crazy. Let's do that. Let's do a bottom feeding setup, and... See if that works any better. All right, there. Him and the rod set up. Go to the bottom. Uh, what kind of baits do I get here? Let's go with a number five. That's a red worm. Now they, they will bite red worm. Red worm, blood worm. And I don't remember what the cheese. Cheese was the other one. So I could go with a piece of cheese here. Let's go with a smaller hook. I'll go with a nine. And uh, I can do blood worm here. I can do a blood worm here. Uh, I want to keep it fairly shallow.
cast it on top of them logs. All right. Um, all right. Now we're getting a bite. Okay, some bit. Coming in pretty easy. All right, so this was on the bottom with a blood worm. What do we get? A yellow perch. What the hell? I was catching yellow perch off, off top water. All right, let's uh, change up the bait. Or let's try another... Uh, Try another location real quick. See if we get the same result. Uh oh, damn, where'd my rod go? There we go. Now we're not even getting a nibble over here. All right, there's my sneeze. Out of the way now. Well, it ain't that deep out there, is it? It's just like nine foot deep out there. It's out there in like the middle of the channel. It doesn't appear to be an active location though. I wonder, I wonder if I'd have cast over near the dock. Try that area. Yeah, we'll try that area. And if we don't get anything there, we'll change bait. a little bit further away from the dock than what I wanted.
Uh, this leveling up is demands a lot of time. I'm grinding common carp since double XP started and oh caught about 300 carp. Well, holy shit. But I'm also level 70. Holy smoke, God. Yeah, Where's my level, right? Where's my level? Where's your level at? I don't even know where my level is. Oh, right here, 20. Shit, that's right in front of your face there, Bob. That's a hell of a f fishing count there. 300 freaking carp. Holy crap. I ain't getting any nibbles there. Let's see if I can get over to that dock. Ah, there we go. There we go. It's about 10 foot deep there. A little deeper than what I want to be fishing, actually. Twenty diamonds and a hundred gold. Yeah, quite, quite a ways away from that. I think I've got. I think I've caught two gold. Definitely haven't caught no diamonds yet. But I have snagged two golds. Is that what the hell that is? I never thought about that. No. Are these prestige points or something? Uh oh, oh, get out of there, Bob. Get ready. Something biting. Come on. All right, there's 100% on the tensioner, so nothing. He's not fighting. Come on, let it be a freaking sunfish, please. Freaking another yellow perch. All right. Get off of that bait. That's for damn sure. Let's go back to rod setup. Change the hook because I don't, actually, I don't think I can get. No, nope. I need a bigger hook for the cheese. So let's go with a bigger hook then. I think I can do it with seven. Yeah. Hey, hello, writer. Thanks for stopping by. I appreciate it. Just doing a little fishing today. Actually, uh, we fish twice a week on Wednesdays and Saturdays. Thanks for stopping by the Beer Run channel. Hopefully, you're having yourself a good weekend. All right. Let's try this out. See if we can get a little bit of luck going here. Rider, nice. I just reached level 75 and the angler. Well, hell, you and Crocus is right there in the 70s. 
I'm still a newbie. As you can see, only a level 20. <laughs> still trying to figure the damn game out in some areas. But I'm enjoying it. It's, a, it's very casual, calm. Uh, much better than the survival games I typically pay, play, which, uh, you know, always has something trying to eat your face. At least here, I don't have anything trying to kill me. But yeah, we, we stream uh, Monday through Saturday, 3 p.m. Pacific time. And uh, we're currently rotating three different games, subsistence. Uh, this game and uh, Escape the Pacific is the other game. And I, I try to keep my schedule updated on my community tab if you ever wonder what we're playing. Nice, I just want to have the best rod at level 100. Ain't, ain't nothing wrong with wanting the best all the time. Of course, it is just a game. I just got the <coughs> Citro del Rail bottom rod in Spain. Okay, you're speaking Greek to me. <laughs> the Citro de, del Rey bottom rod in Spain. So I guess you're talking about maybe a map in Spain, a lake in Spain, and you've got a particular good rod, bottom rod, for that lake. Nice, congratulations. Sounds like Crocus knows what the hell you're talking about, though. <laughs> 60-pound line. Sometimes I think I need that damn 60-pound uh, line. Some of these damn monsters that just break my line instantly. But then again, I'm only running four pound, eight pound test. All right, this freaking cheese ain't doing it. Because it's the best bottom rod. Well, I don't know how how far I'm going to take this uh, series as far as live streaming it. Uh, I want to get through, you know, doing a lot of these quests and stuff. But I know the higher up I get into the gold and the diamonds, it's probably going to take like <laughs> one stream just trying to catch one. Is the best beer on it. Sure, it is. Nice one. It is. Wow, I ain't getting anything nibbling off of this cheese on the bottom. I'm going to use the level 90 reel and level 100 rod for float fishing. From what I see, that's pretty much what I've been uh, learning off of this game. It's just learning the combina which combination is best for which fish. We need to give up on this cheese. This cheese ain't doing anything. That's 
go to the red worm and see if we can get anything with the red worm off the bottom. Uh, here, I can just change it right here. Or hold it. Whoa! Don't I have red worm? I thought I did. Oh, I need a bigger hook for that one. Okay, that's what it is. Okay. Now we got the red worm. Because uh, I'm just going to be honest that level 100 rod, all it's good for is float fishing. Okay, well, I I'm sure I won't remember that when I get to that level. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I will. <laughs> All right, red worm. Um, let's try you over here, too. And the bottom rod on Spain, you have to buy with reputation. Can can hold 60 pound line, and the level 100 rod can only hold 55 pound line. So you so you do spend your reputation. Also, okay, that I was unaware of. I thought it was just the coin. Oh, hell. We ain't even getting anything biting on the bottom with a red worm. What the hell? Freaking fish hibernate or something? We were getting a lot more hits in the last episode. No, you don't spend it. You spend your gold and diamond and tokens. Okay, cause, okay, it's just the way you worded it. You have to buy with reputation. Okay. You, okay, I meant with reputation. I meant earn with reputation. Okay, gotcha. At a certain reputation level, it then becomes available. Okay, yeah, that I totally acknowledge that, yes. There ain't shit biting off the bottom up here. Um yeah, let's try it. I wonder if I need to go over there and fish from that side. I'll, they'll still be in the area. You know what? Let's try that. Let's, let's fish back this way. I don't know if this is going to make a difference or not. So the bottom rod in Spain, you only need to earn 500 rep. All right, All right let's fish back that way now. The level 100 rod is faster, I guess, so it's pretty easy to get. Oh, 
Oh, there we go. Minnow catching. Let's get another minnow. At least we got something to bite on that freaking red, red worm finally. Well, that ain't no damn green per freaking uh, green sunfish. That's for damn sure. Freaking bass figures. All right. Should have expected that off of that red worm. All right, let's go back to uh. uh no, back off, back off. I need to change up the rig. Go back to uh, number nine with the blood worm. No, the real is what's fast. One of my reel gear ratio, five and a half to one. So that's the speed of the reel. All right, another nibble. All right, see, we're doing better fishing back towards that dock. But, of course, we haven't caught what the hell we're supposed to catch yet. The rods have the unbend speed, so where we're at. No, the reel is what is fast. So one more. Ah, freaking sturgeon. Damn it. Ah, uh, so one more. Five, okay, the rods have the unbend speed, too. Yeah. All right, so... Let's, let's try one one more cast over there, see if I get another sturgeon. The real has to be two, but the flexibility unbend counts. fast in their own way. I don't worry about the uh, rod speed. Okay, we're gonna get another sturgeon. Ain't putting up no fight. I 
worry about the rod speed because I mainly get the rods that have. Uh, what is that? Yellow perch? Freaking yellow perch. Man, I'm getting tired of catching these guys. Because uh, I mainly get the rods that have the fast or extra fast or moderate fast action. Depends on which type of fish you were grinding for, but I understand you. All right. Um, I need to go to cheese now. I like cheese I can use with a seven. I'm using the bottom rod for common carp. Everyone has their own style fishing. Oh yeah. An African sharp tooth catfish. Me too. Bottom bottom is better for common carp. So you're both grinding for the common, common carp. <laughs> one day, one day, Beer Run will be grinding for the common carp also. <laughs> And here I got this bronze green sunfish just kicking my ass. <laughs> and you guys are talking about diamonds. And here I'm just wanting the damn bronze. Can I include my four diamond mirror carp? <clears throat> All right, so not nibbling cheese there, huh? If I can lay it up right up next to the dock again. Nope, nope. Eh, not, not bad. How deep is it? Six foot? Eighteen dime carp and it all. Now, do you all play on the, the like a multiplayer uh, location, or do you just play solo? The 
grass cut strike when I wasn't paying attention. I don't have a grass carp yet, but yo, get a bigger one. I hate them at the moment. Crocus, you're solo? Okay. Sometimes I play multi, okay. All right, so you do play over on the multi servers. Diamond grass carp on last week, and he broke me off as I was about to secure the catch. He broke me off on the dock. I don't think anything's biting this freaking cheese. Oh, man, come on, really? Um. Kind of hurts when you lose a fish right at the dock, <laughs> especially after you put up a fight with them. I play a little bit single play and a little bit of multiplay. All right, so you, so you both do both. Yeah, I haven't been over on a multiplayer map yet. Gotta go see ya. All right, Ryder, I appreciate you stopping by, bub. Like I said, uh, we do uh, fish every Wednesday and Saturday, 3 p.m. Pacific time. All right. We ain't getting anything off this damn cheese bait. Uh, I think now that we're on this side, let's go back and uh, let's do another float setup and we'll fish back towards there, that dock, and see if we can get anything better. Oh, you know what? You know what? I just need a little guy. Let's go with the light setup. Blood worm, I'm sorry, not the red worm, the blood worm. It's red also, but. <laughs> All right. Okay, come on, green, green sunfish, let's go, let's go. It's probably going to be a freaking yellow perch. I called it yellow perch. Dad, dang it. This green sunfish is pissing me off.
Shallow fawn, deep pond, lake shore. I need to be a lake shore, and I'm pretty much around the shoreline of a lake. Okay. Here comes something. Go ahead, nibble. Maybe? Maybe? Maybe! Oh, freaking crappie! Oh. <laughs> All right, well, at least we caught something else besides the freaking yellow perch. Uh, let's, uh, let's set this a little deeper. Go about three foot. Oh, damn it, damn it, Bob. Yep. Yep, way to scare him off. All right, it's gonna be a yellow perch, it's gonna be a crappie, it's gonna be a freaking bluegill, a sunfish, what's it gonna be? Yep, perch. Perch, yep. <laughs> All right, let's change up bait now. So we are getting hits over there. We're getting hits on the panfish style, or species, I should say. So I need to change the hook size. Uh, rod, hook size, go to a seven. I can throw cheese. And we'll try cheese here. <clears throat> okay, I didn't reset the depth. So we're only at seven tenths of a foot deep. Too far? No, no, that's good. I thought I'd be up on top of those logs, but I didn't quite get there. Pull it off the logs a little bit.
Yeah, I'm not getting anything to bite off this cheese today. Oh, actually, no, I was getting the sturgeon to bite the cheese on the bottom. So, so this is a question. So, for me to get credit for this sunfish, can I catch a sunfish with that marker being up? Or am I not within the zone of that marker? Wow, actually right here. Does that marker have to be disappeared? For me to get to be considered in the fishing zone that's something i've always wondered about and i may have asked that the last time when does it disappear at 100 Well, under 100, it's still there. What the hell? Oh, right there. So it disappears at like 30 foot. And I've got to think that I've got to be inside that zone. Why would the marker come up? I don't know. I don't know. We're going to fish from over here anyway. Um, I need to change this back up. Damn it. Let's go to five and then the worm. Oh, shit. You can't cast until you pull your rod out, Bob. Actually, I guess the only way to really find out would be to get outside the zone and catch a freaking sunfish.
Well, this red worm on a float ain't doing squat. It's just like freaking uh, the cheese on the float wasn't doing nothing. All right, you know what? I think we're going to hang this quest up for a little while. Let's see what uh, what the other quests are that we have. Uh, where are we at here? Journal. Okay, I got to catch a silver burbot, which we have tr attempted that a few times. Uh, oh, all those are done. Oh, shit. Let's uh, fast travel back over here and see if there's any more bronze fishing challenges. I think there might have been one more. I think. Silver, silver. What? Silver. Weren't we here with the bronzes? Oh, that's right. We we already did all the bronzes. We were on the, the photo challenge, which was the last bronze. Ah. Shit. I'm going to say piss on it. Let's do a silver. We'll try a silver. Cutthroat trout. All right. Let's track that one. See where that takes us. Oh, it, oh to the marked location. Yeah. So where do we got to go? Over here. Okay. Cutthroat trout. Oh. Okay, I must have got the red thingy that was here. Unless it's over here. Nope. I must have got it. All right, cutthroat trout. Let's see what we need for that. Uh, trout, golden cutthroat right there. Egg spoon spinner. Well, I'm going to try a spoon first. Uh, hold on. Back up. Back up, Bob. Okay, I don't think it's going to be a silver. The rainbow, bronze. Okay, so that was on the spoon. Let's go to the spinner then. Change up your bait. Spinner. I got a couple different spinners. Uh, I need a silver, so let's go with the seven. Of course, I could have tried a different technique with the spoon. Oh, hold on. Yeah, nah, this will be a bronze. Rainbow again. All right, let's 
So both the spinner and the spoon got me a rainbow. So let's change up the technique and see if we can uh, maybe score a cutthroat that way. So use a twitching technique now. So I can change up the speed also. Stop and go action. Hmm. Let's, let's go ahead and throw and do a float with an egg. Let's try that. Uh, rod, float. With an egg. I'm to, to, no, I, need, I need silver, so let's go with bigger. Oh, okay, I got a do a seven? Can I get an egg on a seven? 
Yeah, I can get an egg on a seven. Nope, I didn't set the depth. Damn it, I always do that. Now, it wasn't all that deep out in this way. This way, it was only like anywhere from like five, five to seven foot deep. So we caught those two rainbow trout right off, the, right out the gate, and we haven't even had a nibble since then. Hello. Ah, it's going to get behind that damn pole now. All right, so we can't watch the bobber. All we can do is listen. I guess we can wait for it to come out the other side. <laughs> Let's see if we can see it pass in between the two poles. I think it's past the center. I couldn't see him. There it is. Wow. Well, we're just an hour into the stream, and we haven't even completed one challenge yet. Holy crap. But what do they say? That's why they call it fishing. If you're catching them, they'd call it catching. Oh, shit. Damn it. Oh, I heard that little jingle and the bobber went under or went behind a wave. Damn it. Yep, screwed that one up. Finally got a bite and I screwed it up. Yeah, it's a little misconceiving sometimes. It looks like the bobber goes underwater behind waves.
go to the other side over here. Maybe we can get lucky over here for something. Wow, we finally had a nibble on the eggs, and I scared the damn fish off. Oh, here we go, here we go. Don't scare it off, Bob. You gonna fight? No, he's uh, coming in. He ain't fighting. So that's a bronze. That little minnow. Is that a freaking perch? No, <laughs> that little brook trout. All right. Set it totally deep. Let's go straight out. Here we go, here we go. Nibble, nibble, nibble. Nope, he's not a runner. This will be a bronze. Brook trout again. Ah, cutthroat. I got, whoa. Okay, so I got a cutthroat on an egg, but it's only a bronze. Hmm, keep throwing. Maybe I can catch something bigger. We'll try it. See if I can catch something bigger. Four, four six deep. All right. Can't get it any deeper unless I go to the bottom. CV! 17 days in a row. How you doing, buddy? Thank you for stopping by. You having yourself a good weekend? I think that's what I'm going to do after this cast here is we'll set that, those eggs up for bottom fishing. That is if we don't catch the silver cutthroat. Oh, shit. Damn it. I, why? Why do I always do that? I know that is not the bite. Damn it. All right. That's it, we're going to the bottom.
bottom fishing. Uh, I need uh, seven on the hook. I think I can get the eggs on that. Okay. Okay, so 18 foot deep. All right. Okay, jingle, jingle. Yeah. All right. Uh, no, he's not fighting, but he, he's got some weight to him. I don't think this is going to be a silver, though. It could. It could be. I don't know what kind of fish it is. <laughs> Hopefully it's the cutthroat. Oh, it could be a cutthroat. It looks like one. It's got that red in it. There it is. We got it. Silver cutthroat. We finally completed the first challenge. Holy crap. All right. So back to map. Let's uh, fast travel back up here. And we'll get that other silver fishing quest that they have. And there's a gold. Uh, we ain't doing no damn gold yet. All right, what's this one? Silver strand metals. I need a lake trout this time. All right, let's track that one. Let's go to the map and see where we got to go for this lake trout. Right over here. Oh, shit. Uh, I got a car right here. Why is there a car there? I left a car parked there. I sure did. Does it always leave my cars parked ev around everywhere? I don't think it does. Maybe that was the last vehicle I got. And I left it parked there. All right. Well, let's get in it and go, go down to the south a little bit. Uh, map, is that south? Yeah, that's the way I need to go. Let's go. Oh, slow down, slow down, slow down. Jeez. I'm just going to fish from the dock, see if we can catch something from the dock. All right, so I need a lake trout. So what do we need to be fishing for a lake trout with? Brook trout green, cutthroat golden, lake trout. Oh, we have, okay. So this is the last fish on this map that I have not caught yet. So this would be a first here. A spoon, a spinner, and a crank, okay.
and I, I might have to actually take the boat out to get a bigger fish or to catch a silver fish. Wow, that's a pretty deep lake. 30 footer right there? Wow. Still pulling my line out as it sinks. All right, there it's sunk. Yep, it's all sunk. All right, let's bring her in. Well, let's stay on it three times. Looks like it might be 60 foot deep and out in the center, maybe. Maybe. Pretty shallow over here, though. All right, let's go to a spinner. Uh, size 10, 7. Let's go with that, and that one there. Got here. It looks like a cutthroat there. Is that a cutthroat? Yeah, that was a cutthroat. Don't need a cutthroat. I need a lake trout now. All right, so that was on that spinner. Uh, we could try a different reeling technique. And let's try a different, maybe like twitching. Yeah, let's go, let's go tweaking.
the other spinner real quick. See if we get the same result with this spinner. Not getting any bites on this one. All right, let's uh, straight out. I'm going 30 foot deep here. Let it sink. Okay, it's all the way at the bottom. Let's go. Was the other one was it uh, crankbait? Is that what it was? Yeah, crankbait. Not getting many hits at all out here. Oh, there we go. Just as I uh, said that. Yeah, fight? No, he ain't putting up much of a fight. What are you, though? I don't see any color in you. Overhead trout. A silver overhead trout. Well, we don't need you, so 
I think we need to go out in the boat. Yeah, that's what I think. I think we need to take a boat out and get out there deeper. Oh, I got a second boat, huh? When did I get that? The Lionheart 500 Sport is a compact, mobile, and lightning-fast sport fishing boat crafted from pristine fiberglass for a high durable durability and unyielding performance. It's just, oh, what? Hold on, can I, what's the other one? Is it just color? Is that all it is? They're both the same. I think it's just color. I just want to get out of here right in the middle. All right, let's try it here. Come on. Hundred sixty two foot deep. Holy shit. I said fifty foot? Hundred and sixty foot deep here. Holy crap.
Not getting anything out here in the middle. Not getting anything in the middle. Oh, you little shit. Really? And then I did a sidearm throw? I don't know how the hell I did that. Betty Rainbow Trout. Throw it back out there and keep the retrieval speed at three. Nothing back that way. Cutthroat? Is it a cutthroat? No? It's a rainbow. Alright, so we did get another rainbow off of that lure. So let's get off of that lure. Damn it. Mm. Back to the spoon? Or, uh, let's use the crankbait over here. Spinnerbait. That's, that's the only crankbait I got, ain't it? Yep. Yeah. Swim bait. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. What was this one? Oh, I do got another crack bait. I got two of them. Let's go with this one. 
Number four size took, yeah. Oh, what we got? Oh, whoa, 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 holy shit. All right, we got, we got a fighter. This is definitely going to be at least a silver. Come on, baby. Come on. Okay. Hopefully this is a lake trout. I have not had anything fight me like this. My God, he's just like sitting there. Come on. Come on up. Under 40, got him under 40 foot. Come on. Get ready, get ready to scare him. Oh, you little shit. Oh man, secure his ass, come on. All right, what'd we get? Lake trout, bronze. What the hell? Freaking eight and a half pound bronze? All right, well that ain't good enough. We need a silver. Holy shit. Well, you know what? We're casting it right back out there. Wow, I, I could almost sworn that would have registered as a silver. But apparently an eight and a half pound lake trout is only a freaking rookie fish.
try that other crankbait. As it's now getting dark out here, I don't know if that's going to have any effect on my fishing. Don't I have like a light or something? Uh, gamepad accessibility, credits, mouse, keyboard, uh, bindings. Isn't there like a light? I don't. I don't remember. For some reason, I'm thinking there is a light, but I don't remember. Short cast, regular cast, secure catch, drag, increase. Yeah, strike with rod. Pump, reel. Formation break reverse. Hmm. Okay, I guess I. There isn't a headlamp. But man, for some reason I was thinking there was a headlamp in this game. Remove toggle. Map, handbook. Journal, inventory. And you quick will. What the hell does a quick will do for me? What's that? Quick will. Oh, it's <laughs> just emojis. Okay. Okay. Uh, ah, shit. It's getting dark. nice to have a little trolling motor on this freaking boat. At least I could be trolling around. Not even a nibble. Now, go back to the chartreuse one and try throwing this one. Let's see if it has anything to do with the color, which I'm sure it probably does. I don't know.
gonna fight something. We're gonna fight something. Oh, this dudes are running. Okay, 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 okay. Fight him, Bob. Fight him. you do okay here he comes here he comes oh nope, nope. Oh, he's, gonna, he's, he's gonna go for a run again This one's got to be a Silver Lake trout. Got to be. Them right around the hundred foot mark. Come on, buddy. Come on. Wear your ass out. for a run again, ain't he? Up there. Oh, I'm, come on. Oh, shit. little mini giant here. Please don't break my line.
Damn, after 130 now. Dude, we're down. Man, if I didn't know any better, I'd swear this is a mud cat and went back into his hole. <laughs> oh. I'm making any progress. We're just sitting right around one on 130 foot. Eventually he's gotta wear down, right? Oh, look at this, we're down to 120s. Back up to 130s. Damn it. No <laughs> oh, shit. Hey, John. <laughs> Good time to join. I'm in a battle here. <laughs> How you doing, buddy? I've been fighting this thing probably five minutes now, maybe. been hanging around the 130 foot mark for a while he's not wearing down Up to 140 now. He's still pulling line out. Holy crap. Oh, there we go. Okay. Oh, shit.
Back down in the 130s. Come on. No, 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 no. And to the 120s now. I think maybe he's starting to wear out. The teens. Okay. Right, we might be on the winning side right now. He's going to take off again, though. I know he is. He's going to try. Okay, now he's going to start fighting. He's getting close. <clears throat> Don't lose it right here, Bob. Don't lose it. Yeah, he, he's running again. Shit, dude, really? This is gonna, probably going to be the catch of the stream right here. <laughs> if I can catch it. Oh, my God, he's getting back up over 100 again. No, you ain't, dude. Yeah, there he goes. He's, run he's, he's on the run. He's on the run. Don't break it. Don't break it. All right, back under 100. A little shit. I think we had him down to 40, maybe into the 30s. Back in the 40s again. Okay, can we get him in this time? Is he going to make another run for it? Sounds like he's bouncing around over here. Get ready to land him. Get ready to land him. Got him. Holy shit! Look at that monster. 23.34 pounds. Three and a, nah, three and a quarter foot. So what would that be? And a silver lake trout. There it is. That's the biggest fish we've ever caught right there. And that was the challenge. New best rank. Wow. T took me... Oh, 15 minutes to freaking land that thing. Interesting. Wow. All right. Way to go, Bob. All right. Oh, God, I hate to release that. Man. That's pretty damn good-sized trout there. Wow. 
All right. Uh, back out. Um, no. There. And then release him. Ah. Got us a level. So, let's fast forward back. Oh, oh, damn it. No, don't set no waypoints. Back up here. And we got to check out this next silver quest here. Or, oh, that's golden gold. So, it's a map challenge. Silver map challenge. All right. Well, let's uh, let's load it up. All right. We got to go right to that location. And we're gonna have to get a silver sturgeon. All right. So take that. Which one? Oh, that was that damn green sunfish. Let's track that one, and let's go see about doing up this sturgeon. I think I know where that's at. Map. Right here. Should be right there. Why? It's not a photo challenge. It's a map. Hold it. I didn't. I, I'm tracking it. Oh, stop track. No, I'm tracking it. Okay, so I got to go there. I thought it was. I thought. The map challenges mark the map, but I guess it doesn't. It just marks the map right here. The photo, that's the tough one. All right. Okay, so we know where we're going. How do I get over there quickly? Damn it. Uh, I could go to there. I ain't going to go to boat up this. I'm going to have to take a car. Is there a car right here? There is a car there. All right, so that will probably be the quickest route to fast travel there, get a car. And let's see. I don't, the red thing is it's already got, I guess. Uh, over here. Yep, we already got the red thingy here. All right. Uh, car. Car, Bob. Oh, I have a different uh, vehicle, too. I wonder if I got the second vehicle option when I completed... Well, I didn't complete all of the bronze. I still got one more bronze I got to do. Huh, I don't know what triggered the, com the completion to give me another Jeep. All right, map. So head up here, turn right. Uh, no, I don't want to go that way. Back up, back up. I want to go that way. Got a ways to go. Yeah. I do not like the driving mechanic in this game.
I think third person driving would be okay if it was just higher up on an angle. This this is too low. Because when you come up, up and over the top of ridges, you can't see what's on the other side. Hell, you have better view from the driver's seat in that case. All right, where are we going? Whoa, 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 whoa. There should be a bridge right here. Because I need to be over here. So is there a bridge here? Or is this just... Or is there a Ford? Oh, it's just low water. That's all it is. It's just, just a Ford. Okay. Now, map. Uh, let's go to the journal. Okay, so I'm just going to have to run around in circles until it triggers. Oh, it's on down, a little further down. Okay. Find the map location. Okay, we're right about, we're right here where this little inlet is. Okay, let's go to journal. I see you can't zoom in, but it looks like it may be a little bit further south. Okay, let's keep heading south, which is the direction I'm kind of heading. Should be right in here somewhere, eh? Hey, maybe not, maybe. Okay, we got it checked off right there. All right, now we got to catch a, what we got to catch a sturgeon, silver sturgeon. All right, so I have had sturgeon biting on the bottom with cheese. So I'm going to try that setup right here, see if that works in this location. Bottom fishing. Cheese, I think that's a seven. All right. Let's see what we got here. And yes, I do have a light, so the light on my head automatically comes on when it gets dark. Okay, here's nibbles. What we're gonna get? It ain't a silver. Coming in too easy for that. But is it a sturgeon? Looks like it might be. It is. Oh, and it is a silver. Holy shit. Well, that was an easy catch. And good memory. Bottom with cheese. Seems to be the winner with sturgeons. Okay. Uh, map challenge completed. Let's uh, get the hell out of here. Okay, so that's what it is. So wherever I leave the car parked, it will stay there until I recall it to another location. Because previously my car was parked over here. Okay. Now I think I'm done with all these silver ones over here, I think. Except for the one I've already got. Yeah, the silver uh, halibut or whatever the hell that was. These are all golds now, right? Yeah, gold, gold, gold. So, 
for this board, I've still got one silver to complete. And it's... That's a bronze. It's this one here. The Silver Burbank. Let's go check this out and see if we can maybe score on it tonight. All right. I need to go to the marked location and catch this Burbot. Okay. And where was that location? I was thinking it was over here. Apparently not. Hmm, I done forgot where I was supposed to catch that burbot at. I am tracking it, right? Yes, I'm tracking. Catch silver burbot. Maybe I can catch the silver burbot anywhere? I thought I had to catch it in a specific place. There, there it is. Okay, right there. There it is. The bird bot's right over here. So let's fast travel over here. I went over it three times. <laughs> that would figure, John. That would figure. It, it, it's what they call streamer blindness. I'm sure you've seen that with quite a few streamers. I know I have. And I know I've got that disease. All right. Give me a boat. Journal. Nope. Uh, nope, nope, nope. Cancel. Map. So, let me do this. I can have toggle map key. Oh, what? Track? I am. Oh, that's on my HUD now. That's right. Okay. But w when you get within the uh, 35 feet of it, it disappears. So, maybe I don't get within 35 feet of it? Uh, well, never mind. I guess on the water, it's a lot further off. All right. When I was standing on the dock, it was 35 feet that made it disappear. All right, so Burbot. Damn it. To the journal, to my handbook. Where's the Burbot? Right there. Liver, Shad, Red Worm. All right, let's 
I'll go with. I'm, I'm thinking this is going to be a bottom feeder. So let's set up a bottom feed with sh liver. <laughs> bottom feeder. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What the hell did I do there? Let's try that again. Uh, liver, uh, seven hook? Uh, no, can't do liver with a seven. Uh, so a five is minimum for the liver. There we go. All right. He always goes back into his seat when you do a rig change. All right, uh, map. Actually, uh, maybe back this way. Seems like it wanted it in deep water. We'll find out. 68 foot deep. We'll see what happens. Damn jumping fish sounds so close, he'd almost jump in my boat if he's not careful. Okay, liver right now is not looking so hot. It, it might be that I need to suspend the liver off a of bobber because uh, journal handbook there red worm see see shad and red worm well red worm is red worm bobber yeah red worm would be bobber shad is no crank is like a crankbait. Three different ways: bobber, bottom, or crank. In fact, I think I'm going to go that way. I think I'm going to set up a shad. So, rods, uh, jig head, pole, line, jig head, and the shad. Get your ass back out of the chair. And
right, what we got? Uh, is he going to fight? Yep, we're going to get a fighter. All right, well, I don't know if it's the Burbot, but whatever we got is going to fight us. I ain't fighting too hard. Well, he's sort of kind of fighting us. Go to get him, or is he gonna run again? I'm not looking at it. I'm not looking at him. Get him, get him, get him. Oh, we got. Ah, that ain't what we wanted. All right, so Tiger Musky off of the shad. Hmm. Let's keep the shad on and we'll do a different presentation. We'll tweak it. Yeah, let's do some shad tweaking. See if we catch something different. There's a tweaker. Uh. Looks like, oh, that time we got a bass. All right. So a tw a tweaking shad gets me a bass. A constant reel in got me a tiger muskie. So let's try the stop and go method. I don't even know if stop and go is a... Yeah, that, that should work. I can even uh, jig that. You know what? We'll do a jig too. Let's we'll try a jig, me jig method. See if that produces a different result. Oh, we got something fighting here. Oh, he's a runner. He's a runner. Oh, he's run. He's running. He is straight up running. There we go. There we go. All right, this is something different. I don't think it's going to be a burbot. I don't think a burbot fights this much. I could be wrong. But the burbots that I can remember catching, I don't remember putting up this much of a fight. Oh, shit. Ooh, hoo, hoo, that was close. All right, we in for another 15-minute battle.
Okay, we got it under 130. Okay, I think he might be wearing down. I hope he is. Oh, no, no, no. He's got his second wind. Here he goes. Oh, you already losing out on that second wind. This ain't going to be a 15 minute fight. Eh. Is that a bird bite? Can't tell. Come on, come on. Oh, shit. There we go. That's not a burbot. A northern pike. All right. We've caught a tiger musky, a bass, and a northern pike on the shad using three different reeling techniques. So I guess all that is left is now the stop and go technique and see what we catch off of that. All right. And I, I'm not crazy about this stop and go technique. It's a pain in the ass. All right, ready? Let's go. All right, let's see what we got here. A little bit of a fighter, not much. He's not running, but he's a tugging. I got another northern or tiger musket. All right, so constant reeling and stop and go gave me a tiger musky. So I'm going to say the burbot will not be got on a shad. All right. So that's going to be a, a no on the shad. Um, and these others, it's either going to be bottom or float. So I'm going to try a float. Do a float with a liver. Uh, ooh, shit, liver was. Can I do a liver on a seven? No, gotta be a five. It's gotta be the. Is he six or bigger? All right. Firm, set your depth, and well, get out, get your ass out of your seat. All right, depth. I guess we're gonna go fully deep. Uh, let's see, we're, I was casting this way. Keep casting that way. Let's see what we get.
See, and I, I know if I throw a red worm out there, I'm just going to catch a freaking bass. Uh oh, here comes something. Where'd he go? I seen something swim up there, but he just maybe he just swam by it. Can't get it in the weeds, but might be able to get it into shallower shore. I'm curious if I want to get it up in those weeds. We ain't getting any nibbles here. Hmm. Reduce the depth. That'll be the first thing I'm going to try. If I don't get a nibble here, we'll throw a red worm in just to confirm that we'll get a bass off of that. Jingle, 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 ring that dinner bell.
worm? Yes, we can. I've only got two worms, though. Damn, I'm about out of worms here. Keep it at two for right now, two foot. Hello. Okay, don't know if a bur bur bot will jump. Uh, a bass will. <laughs> and that's what I'm laying my odds on here. That's what I'm going to have is a bass. Looks like a bass. It's a bass. Yep, just like I thought. All right. Damn it. It's a liver. Haven't been having any luck off this liver. Let's uh, let's change that up. Let's go back to liver. Let's uh, have a seat. And I'm going to pull up a little closer to the weeds. I got the liver on. Now, I guess I could throw the shad up here in the weeds, maybe I might catch something different in uh, a weed location with the shad. Guess that's a possibility. Because all those, those other three, the tiger muskie, the bass, and the uh, pike, we caught in the open water. I might have to try that. This is definitely a slower game to be streaming, but I game to game. I don't game for fame. I don't know if I've ever cut anything off the liver. Is that something you can look at? Backpack. Backpack. Uh, uh. Oh, yeah, mastery. Okay, so well, I've got a 10% mastery on liver, so maybe I have caught something on it. Freaking shad. I've mastered the shad. <laughs> Red worm, crankbait, cheese. Interesting. Swim bait, crankbaits, jerk bait. Um, 
Yeah, let's do that. Right, let's, let's do that real quick. Let's do a chat uh, that ch shad setup, and let's cast it in the weeds and see if I get something different. Oh, shit, what am I thinking? I wasn't. I wasn't thinking. That's what I was thinking. No, I want that set up. Okay, what'd we get here? Looks like a bass. Yep, looks like a bass. Oh. Bass it is, all right. So that was the tweaking retrieval. Let's do the jigging retrieval. I think the jigging, I caught a pike on it. Swam away from it. Okay. Is it a pike or a burbot? Northern pike. Okay. So, with the jigging technique. I've caught this northern pike in the wheat. Well, actually, it was after it came out of the weeds. But I've caught the northern pike twice with a jigging retrieval. With a tweaking, as I call it, tweaking, twitching, a tweaking retrieval, I've caught a bass twice. So it's got to be on that freaking blood bag river. All right, let's set that back up. Let's go to liver float four foot and cast it way up there. And I think it'll be close to the bottom. Uh, so set up rod back to a float. Uh, going five liver. Okay, let's stand up over here, let's set it fully deep, because it's only like five foot deep up there. Nope, damn it, I still think you're not in the area you're, you need to be in. Uh, I, well, I might be out of the area now, I don't know how that marker works. If I back up a little bit, the marker will disappear. And I think that indicates I'm in the zone. But I think I've caught and fished before outside of the zone. I don't know if I've caught and gotten credit for it, though. Well, 
let me back up. I wonder if I can still cast cast in there. Let me try that. I'll back up and see if I can get that to disappear, and that'll put my boat in the zone. All right. Uh, let's see. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. All right. Not enough yet. Oh shit, turn it rotated a little too much. See, now it disappeared. All right. Oh, hold it. It hadn't disappeared here yet. Oh, what? Hold on. What the? Does. Okay, I, I know that thing had disappeared just a minute ago. All right, we'll get back in our boat. Map. See, it's gone. When I sit in the boat, it's gone. Okay, it's gone now. So that tells me I'm in the area. Because it's disappeared. But now I, I don't think I'm going to be able to cast up there like I wanted to. I wanted to try to get it to shore. Or close to shore. Yeah, not quite getting all the way up there. Well, we'll see what this does. But I'm in the right general area. The question is, is if that marker is still on the map. But I'm fishing in the general location. Would I get credit for the fish I need to catch? That I don't know. So right now the markers, it's disappeared. So uh, that's an indicator I'm in the zone. That's all, all I can do is assume that. But now I, I can't cast into the weeds. I just can't cast that far. My my rig setup ain't good enough to go that far. Now, I, I guess I could do a lighter setup. I wonder if a lighter setup, if I can cast up there, might be a bit, a bit of a problem trying to reel in my catch. Yeah, I'm, I'm just not getting any hits off of this uh, liver. Cast from front of boat. That's where I'm at. I'm at the front of the boat right now, John. Uh, I can't. There you go. There's the tip of the boat right there. So I'm casting from the front. That's that's the default position when you get out of the driver chair. Is the front of the boat.
You mean back of boat? You okay? You want me to fish off the back of boat into the deep water? We'll give it a shot. I've been back there with the liver before. Uh, reel that in and change positions. Where'd that put me? Put me in the center or over on the left side, I should say. And now, now I'm in the back of the boat. So I'll hang it as deep as I can hang the float. Not even a nibble. Now I wonder, I'm sure after a certain amount of time, if you haven't gotten a hit, you're not going to get a hit at all. I'm sure the game's written to where you would get a hit within a certain time frame. I don't know what that time frame is. Is it, you know, after you're, you had your bait in the water for 10 minutes? 15 minutes? Then pull it up. Because I want to say normally I get a hit within five minutes of my bait going into the water. If not sooner. I would hope the difficulty of the game ain't sitting here waiting on a bite. The difficulty should be reeling it in and fighting the fish itself. Try another bait in the same area. Well, I might throw this on the bottom. Because that burbot, it looks like a bottom feeder. It looks like a catfish is what it looks like, to be honest. Here, here's the burbot. That thing almost looks like a catfish. And it looks like it has a bottom feeding mouth. So I think I'm going to try to throw the, the liver on the bottom. I've already tried it, but I'll try it again. Because. Let's give that a setup and a shot. Try the bottom. Uh, here, rods that bottom. Uh, I need five to get the liver. And I got to go E, and then E. Should have us on the back of the boat. All right. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Nope, we're good. All right. 56 feet deep. Let's see what happens. And we've already tried the other baits that it recommends. So I would have to go off on other baits because the burbot. It's recommended liver, shad, and red worm. 
Well, with the shad and the red worm, I was catching tiger muskie, pike, and catfish. The red worm, I was catching catfish. So I would have to go off and use some other bait. And we've gone through all this uh, previous episode. This is our second episode. We've been trying to catch this damn thing. Handbook, the Burbot tab. See, the next one is a leech, a hot dog, then leeches, and then minnows. But like I said, I, I wish I knew, you know, if you haven't caught anything in five minutes, reel it in. You're not going to catch anything at all with that particular setup. But I don't know what the time frame is. And see, a hot dog is listed next. Freaking hot dog to me is a freaking bait that kids use. <laughs> you use it to catch these, these freaking uh, large fish on him? Seems crazy. And then again... With the hot dog, it can be either on the bottom or off of a float. There's two different ways you can fish that. And same with the leech, on the bottom or off of a float. All right, we'll reel this one in. We'll put a hot dog on there. Try that one. Uh, can I put it on immediately? Hot dog? Yes. And some of these baits were starting to run out of. All right, just let that sink to the bottom. I remember catching crawdads off of hot dogs.
think we're getting to the end of the time limit for this one, whatever that time limit might be. We haven't even so much gotten a little jingle yet. So let's go to leeches. And I'm not too sure I can put a leech. Yep, we, leeches can go on here. Hey, look at that. We're just about out of red worms. Might have to go back for some bait here soon. Yep, okay. I just want to make sure they're known for deep lake. Shallow lake, deep lake, and upriver. We are in deep water here. Right out here. So we're, we're probably fishing maybe pretty close to this little drop here. Again, I wish we had sonar so I could see what the underwater structures look like. Be nice. Or underwater camera so we could see our lure and see what the structures look like underwater. Oh, and I did look for that game that had the underwater camera vision, and I've actually got it. It's called Ultimate Fisherman 2. So, uh, maybe that might be something we play in the future. All that game is, it's a fishing game. This one's more of a uh, fishing and uh, hiking trails and nature type game. It's got a little bit more to it. So we're just going to stick with this one for now. Maybe in the future we might play that underwater camera fishing game. don't seem to be looking too fine. Shit. What are we going to go to next? Minnow and then a grub. Well, I got a minnow. We've already tried the grub. I don't have a tube. 
Well, I've got a tube, but I don't have a hook for it. Worm. I don't know if we got a regular worm, do we? Do I got regular worm? Is that what? No, that's the leech. That's the red worm. Right there. No, that's the minnow. I don't have regular worm. Yeah, intro. Okay, so that'd be something else I might have to look at getting. A regular worm. So I need I need a proper hook for the tube. And we need a worm. And all these other ones we got. I guess I could try a minnow next. We're getting down on the, the, the food uh, list for this guy. Mr. Minnow it is now. Each minnow. Now, this wouldn't surprise me if I catch a freaking catfish off of this. Granite, 57 foot deep. We, we might be fishing too deep. You know, we might need to find something in the uh, 20 foot to 30 foot range. Uh, you know, we don't have water temperature. We don't have ambient temperature. Uh, winds, we don't have that. Oh, shit, hello. Something. Remember I said catfish. It'd be a channel cat. If anything. I, I think the channel cat's the only catfish in this map. Uh, whatever it is, he ain't putting up no fight. Oh, maybe it might be what we're looking for. No, oh, it's a freaking pike. Really? At that depth on the bottom. Interesting. Well, you know what? Let's uh, throw that again and see if we get the same result. Oh, okay. Here's the temperature. Now, is that water temperature or is that the ambient temperature? Except, but, okay, it tells me the temperature when we catch it, but prior to fishing, I don't think nowhere tells you the temperature. There's nothing there. Nothing here tells me temperature. Uh, I don't see, I see time of day there. Stats, and that's all this is. It's like nothing for current conditions. Hmm. So, yeah. All right. Throw the metal back out there and see what we get this time. Said we catch another pike. 
I, I honestly figured we'd get a channel cat. Well, it didn't take long to get another bite. That's for damn sure. Oh, hello. Yeah, it looks... Uh, that's not what I caught. That was just a fish jumping right there. That is another pike. That may have been the pike I just let loose. Tiger musky that time. Uh, let's throw it again. I guess it's just the uh, luck of whatever fish is swimming by at the moment. <laughs> Maybe I can have a burbot swim by. Okay, now we ain't getting no nibbles. Come on. <clears throat> wow. As we get up into the gold and the diamond rankings. <laughs> We're gonna, I have a feeling we might be... Uh, fighting those for a while and setting and waiting for bites. If we're waiting this long now for these guys, Jesus. Them golden diamonds are going to be a pain in the butt. So what was that? Maybe about three, three to five minute time frame there that we set. I should grab a little clock and start timing some of this. Give me an idea of how long I should have to wait. going up. I'm going to say that temperature is probably the ambient temperature because it was morning and it's uh, starting to come into mid-morning. 
So I could see that being ambient, ambient temperature. The lake temperature wouldn't have gone up that much because I think it's gone up like five degrees. Didn't it start at like 45? I don't remember. It was in the 40s. I remember that. Use mineral 41 seconds. All right, so we're not catching anything. No burbot off of that damn bait. Uh, I done forgot what the next bait is. Uh, tab. Mineral grub we can't. Grub we've already done. Worm we don't. So let's run with a blood worm on the bottom. Oh, no. I'm going to need a different hook, though, I think. Yep, I gotta have a different hook. The maximum size on that hook. Go to seven. Blood worm. One. E and E. I wonder if that worm might be a plastic worm. That might be what that worm is. That might be a plastic worm. I I can see that. I can see that. Handbook. Here, tab. Grub tube worm. All all plastic baits right there. I bet you that that worm is a plastic worm. What did we throw? Oh, the red, uh, the blood worm. That's what we were on. I'm just going to leave my line in the water. I'm going to go to the bathroom and be right back.
All right, good. Looks like no fish jerked my pole out of my hand. That's good. All right. Uh, obviously, we didn't get a hit. So I think we're going to head back to uh, the souvenir shop. And I want to get... What do I want to get? Uh, tab. I want to get the tube and the worm and we need to make sure because I've got a tube I got to get the jig head for the tube I don't have the right size jig head does it tell me what size I need right here where's the where's the tube uh, well I thought I had a tube here there there it is oh that's the grub hold it oh I've got a second Oh, a shad and a grub. My bag is a grub. What size tube? So see, minimum hook size 7. I've only got a 5. So I need a smaller hook. Minim minimum is 7, maximum is 6, and I've got a 5. Okay. It's fast travel. Back uh, to the outpost. Let's get this equipment and get our butt back out there. Uh, over here. No, you're, no, not you. Over here. There's something in the way you walk. You want to buy some baits? I can uh, tell. I'll be over here. Uh, equipment. Uh, let's get the b -b 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 jig head. And what I say I needed a six or a seven? Let's get a six. Try that. And then worm. Uh, soft plastics. Worm, yep. Okay. Yep, it is a plastic worm that we needed. A tube and a grub. Hold it. Oh, I needed a tube. Oh, okay, shit. So I got a grub. And it was this grub that I got. Well, hell, I could have got this grub. Well, you know what? I'll get this as a tube. Seven or eight. I got a seven hook. So I could use the seven with this grub. coin for that. I got plenty of coin. I could probably get myself some more uh, uh, backpack space, right? Uh, let me, yeah, let me back out. Go to back out. Souvenirs. Uh, equipment. Right here. Tackle. That will give me another 10 slots. Oh, that, and now it's worth 5,000. What? The first time it was only worth 2500 Shit. Okay, so this is backpack space. Oh, uh, damn it. Which is here. So I got, I got three rods and three reels set up on the backpack, which I think is okay. That's enough. For tackle, I could use more space for tackle, but damn, 5,000 coin? That's like all my coin. I don't think so. Let's let's get a worm. Let's just go ahead and get a worm. We'll figure out what to take with us and what not to take with us. Uh, buy equipment, plastics, soft plastic, a worm. Can't use that worm. And that worm, minimum hook five. Okay, I got a hook five. That'll work. Buy that. All right. So now, can I get the worm and this tube in my loadout? Storage. Baits, floats, sinker, jig heads. Nope. Yeah, I need, okay, shit. 
So I got to empty something out because I need I need to put this jig head up, and then I got plastic. And then I got two more plastics I need to put up. So I need three more slots. Get rid of this, the boilies. Yeah, let's get rid of those. Put those back over there. Put the corn over there, and the pellets. I haven't been using really. Haven't had a need for any of those. Well, I did have to use that for something. I remember that I had to use one. All right. So now we could stick the jig head in there. Soft plastics. Now, is that all I need? Jig heads. I have nothing stored there. Floats. I, I can do that one float. That. Oh, I need some more red worms. All right, let's buy some more red worms. Baits. Uh, worms. Red worms. Get out of here, go back to storage. Baits. Good there. I don't even know if I need this. What is oh shit, what, damn it. What is that? That's that white wafer. I don't even think I've yeah, it looks like I used one. Uh, hooks are okay, I got all the hooks I need. Lures. Do I have lures that because I could, ooh, another crankbait. That's a tin hook on that one. And there another frog. Two frogs. Okay, you know what? Let's put this up and let's take another frog. Take that white frog. Uh, I don't want to take this crankbait. Three percent. Nothing. I think I'll take the frog. All right, that's going to be our loadout. Lines. I'm okay with the lines. It's only a one pound, eight pound. Nothing left there. I got. Oh, the braided, yeah, I ain't worried about braided right now. I don't think I got rods that are good enough for that. All right. All right, let's fast travel back to here. Oh, oh, I can fast travel right back to my boat. Hell yeah, that's what I like. Nice. All right, the icon is gone. The map, the icon is gone. Okay, so stand up. Let's uh, try this. Let's try a tube. Let me get myself back here again. Really? All right, so let's do a setup. Rod. I want a tube. Uh, six. Oh, I thought I had a seven. Shit. I, okay, I can use a grub, but uh, I think it was a tube this guy wanted, wasn't it? Yeah, he wanted a, oh, a grub's there. Okay, so I could try the grub. I was throwing a shad instead of a grub. Oh, man, I screwed that up. That's all right. We got a grub now, so let's try that method. And I screwed up. I still need another hook. I thought I had a number seven hook, but I took the number six instead. All right. Let's see if the grub. Freaking bouncing around like. Okay, here we're on this side. Okay. Um, So 
So blue grub, let's see how this works. Okay, we'll bring this one back using the tweaking technique. Tweak, tweak, tweak. Oh no, okay, so yeah, throwing the shad was okay, because, oh shit, the shad was up on his list. That was like one of his primary baits. Oh, we got a fighter here. Something like this grub. Come on, come on. Oh shit, get up here. Frickin' northern pike again. Dag dang it. Now it's 51 degrees out here. Well, crap. That didn't work out. Okay, what about uh, the worm? Can I put a worm on here? No, I need the number five hook for that. All right, rods, number five hook, go with worm, worm. All right, we'll try that method, or try that method, try that rig setup. Okay. E, uh, E, there we go. I think I'm going to jig this worm back, see if that works out for me. Probably get us another strike on a pike or a bass. He's not running, but he's fighting me. There he comes, there he comes. What, what we got there? Is that another pike? Or... Come on, get up here. Damn you. Old red trout. All right, well, that's something different. A gold old red trout. All right, we got us another gold. Well, shit. Let's uh, let's throw that worm again, and we'll tweak it back. Tweak it back. Tweak it back. Way back. All right. Let's see what we get with it tweaking.
there. Slow retrieval. Try a stop and go method, I guess. Let this sink for a bit. The pike right there. Damn it. Well, shit, all right, so that didn't work. So what else we go to now? Bloodworm we tried, cheese? All right, we'll try cheese out there. Uh, yeah, I can't, oh, I gotta, I gotta go to the bottom. I gotta do a different rod setup. cheese I need a number seven let's see I think I can put it on a five yeah there you go fish out this way this time see if we get anything this way uh, 16 foot of water a lot different than that 40, 50 foot area I was fishing in. Man, this burbot is just elusive. I haven't even caught a damn bronze one. 
Well, I probably caught a bronze one previously, but since we've been trying to get the silver, I don't think I've even caught a bronze. This is the second episode we've tried to catch this thing. Doesn't look like cheese on the bottom's doing anything. I was kind of expecting to catch a sturgeon, because that's what we were catching earlier today was sturgeon on cheese on the bottom. Mm-hmm. Damn it. Yeah, don't even look like cheese are going to do anything here. So two consecutive episodes, we've been skunked by this burbot. I am. And I, I doubt I'll play any in-between episodes, because I've been playing some... Uh, Ark and Seven Days to Die by myself in between episodes. I've uh, been playing a Seven Days to Die uh, <clears throat> Wild West mod and been playing the new Scorched Earth map on Ark. Survival Ascended. So, I doubt if I'll be playing any of this, but if I do, I'll continue fishing for this burbot. But yeah, I think we're going to call it quits right here. Uh, 
I can't say it was a failure tonight. We did complete two challenges that I remember. I know there was two that we did, but we had a couple that uh, given us problems. Uh, this one here, the silver burbot, and this one here, the green sunfish. We've been kicking our butt. But uh, let's reel him in. But yeah, we're going to call it quits here. Appreciate everybody that's been here tonight. Uh, Mr. John, thank you for stopping by. Inferno ZV, thank you, sir. Uh, Crocus, he returned from uh, the previous episode. And another new one, uh, Ryder Beckman. Thank you for stopping by the channel. I do appreciate it. And uh, well, wasn't Mark here tonight, I think. Mark Moody stopped by and Power Hedge. Uh, so I appreciate everybody that did stop by. And ones that stopped by and did not participate in chat, that's fine. I appreciate you just, you know, giving my channel a view. So we'll be back on Monday with the subsistence death simulator as we try to slowly advance ourselves in that freaking game hardcore as hell and we're not even playing hardcore but uh yeah very challenging game but uh call the wild the angler we will be back on Wednesday with our next episode so until we see each other again you all take care because this beer runs in I'm gone. Later, all.